Hello, hello. Uh, let me check in with the first, ooh, probably third of If Beale Street Could Talk, which opens with uh, a woman, uh, Tish, uh, visiting uh, her is it husband at this point or just boyfriend in prison, um, talking with him through the class and um, telling him that he, she's pregnant. And he's very happy about that. Um, this is, uh, if Beale Street's talk is a 1974 novel by James Baldwin, uh, the great black American writer. Um, we kind of go back and forth, um, kind of this present moment. She goes home, you know, tells her mom, but her mom sort of already knows. They tell the family. Uh, family is supportive they bring over his family where the father is ha his father Frank is happy uh, but the uh, very kind of Bible thumpy kind of self-righteous uh, mother and two sisters are not and the, and the mother actually just says something that basically is I hope it withers and dies in you and that you're damned to hell and, but that my my son my son will be saved and you're the reason he's in you you, you, sh, you know he should have been studying and stuff and not taking up with a wild bad seed like you <sighs> um father for, uh, his her husband just belts her and it's really shocking but also sort of seems to be taken as kind of matter of course uh by people here um, my sister really lets her have it, you know, and says like, yeah, I mean, your, your good God fearing daughters there. Yeah. One jerks off the guys in, 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 uh, in their cars with like a little handkerchief, you know, has a lot of things to say to just hammer them home. Um, so there's that, but we also get like kind of a history of Tish and Fonny's kind of relationship. And it's like, at first, she was her friend hated Fonny, and uh, you know called him ugly, and you know he had a rear end like a gorilla, and she's like, well, and oh, and he has like Oriental eyes or something like that, and says like, well, actually, I think he's got beautiful eyes, and his ass isn't that big. Actually, yours is way bigger, uh, and she end up, they end up going together, and like they be, they end up as like you know really kind of like friends. They're, this is like this young little like. 13, 12 or 13 and they're young and they just really have kind of a friendship and you know that she loses that friend and a friend of her his it's like why are you taking up with a girl so it's like that age where you're supposed to kind of like be divided but they're not they they really love each other they you know and in, in a kind of first kind of platonic way and then they kind of develop into kind of grow into a relationship and, um, you know, Fonny, they've got him in shop class where they're basically getting these poor kids to make, you know, handcrafted furniture and stuff like that, which is just like, you know, it's like, oh, they, 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 they're telling us it's like, it's, you know, helping, helping slow kids, you know, to, to know how to work with their hands. But it's like, nobody fucking is going to buy handmade furniture. Even, you know, rich people don't buy this, this shit. This is just treat, teaching them how to be slaves. And indeed he doesn't take that he 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 steals the he steals the tools he steals the wood uh and and sets himself up as a sculptor and he he's an artist and he's got this passion and it's sort of she talks about this is all done through tish's point of view it's like this is like what saves him this passion is what saves him that allows him not to get ground down and sort of it saves her as well it's like does she have her own passions it's like stuff like that um so we we kind of get there's slipped in kind of pretty sharp observations on 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 the word this world through tish um stuff on the kind of religion of the of 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 uh fanny's fanny's mother who's much more uh, concerned with appearances and looking good than she is actually caring about anything especially caring about her son who, you know, saying it's like it's not 
not her son. It's like sort of one of these, she's tried to kind of squash him, like she's kind of narrowed and pinched her, her two daughters, but she hasn't succeeded. So yeah, that's the first part. Um, yeah, definitely that. And they use a lot of language. They use a lot of homophobic language. You know, it's F this, F that, F word. And the homophobic thing, they do use N, which, I mean, this is black people talking amongst themselves, but, you know, using the word in their own way, I can, you know, that's less of a thing. But yeah, definitely highly homophobic language, which, you know, James Baldwin is also, was gay. You can sort of see what this kind of, you would notice this stuff and be, would know how it's liberally sprinkled throughout stuff. Um... But yeah, just also just a lot of real kind of sharp violence against women. Um, and, you know, maybe not casting, you know, yeah, I think of the women of of Fawny's mother and, and, and sisters. It's like kind of a real, you know, that, that smacking her, you know, belting her, really. She's, she, she puts, he puts her on the floor. It's like, uh, is this kind of a thing of a judgment on like where is an audience supposed to sort of say that's yeah that's righteous because it's like eh, it's not righteous so there is that but it's also some just you know beautiful beautiful love between these two just all the kind of observations um, and we haven't even gotten to have, haven't even really gotten to why is Fawny in jail but you do get the sense, I think there's something said, like, you know, he, he's basically, he set himself up in places where the cops didn't know what to make of him. And like, you know, he's, he holds himself a certain way and they don't know, they don't like that. It's like, this is the kind of guy who gets targeted because he's, he doesn't hold himself down. He doesn't want to make himself into a slave. That's the kind of person who gets targeted by the, um, the white establishment and knocked down. And imprisoned. At least that's the impression I'm getting from the, the, the first part of this uh, novel by James Baldwin. All right, I will leave it there and uh, go on. <laughs> More videos later.